Hello there! I'm Robin Fike Stamping Country. Today I'm going to show you how you can take your buffalo check background stamp and alter it to make a cool plaid. That way you can have plaids for any occasion in any colors. You want to start by inking up your stamp real well. I'm using a Stamparatus because you'll find that you need maybe two or three times to get a good finish. You can see I missed some there so I'll just go back and rub that. And it's not quite as um, evenly inked as I would like. So I'm going to go back and stamp a second time. Make sure you got your ink on there well. And stamp. Another trick, if this doesn't work this way with the Stamparatus, you can always put a mat under your card to give you a little more cushion when you're stamping. And uh, here we're a lot closer. I still am missing a few spots, so I'm going to go a third time. And ta-da, I like that. Okay, and I stamped that with Old Olive ink. So I have my buffalo check. Now we want to, I'm going to show you how to make it into a different check. You're going to need a straight edge or a ruler and some Stampin' Blends. I'm going to start with my Cajun Craze. There's a brush tip and a, a narrow tip and I'm going to use the brush tip for my Cajun Craze and you'll notice that I am starting off the card going past where I need um, that way you don't have any start and stop marks and I'm using the Cajun Craze or the brush tip end on all my solid lines of my checks and just making lines and then we're going to cross and we're going to go the other direction. We're going to do the same thing. Again, I'm starting off the, and then you can you don't have any that abrupt thicker ink. So this is real quick and easy to do. So you can see how you can make it any color you want to match your project. Now I'm going to add a second color, and this time. I'm going to use the fine tip end of my pen, and this is Rich Razzleberry. I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to go in the white spaces this time, across the white spaces. So this is just a little narrower, but again, I'm starting off the paper and ending off the paper. And you can see how quick this is. See the pretty pattern coming up. So if you're a big check fan, you're going to love this technique. Super easy. Get a lot more mileage out of your background stamp. Now I'm going to do a second video on some of the coloring and other things that I did to make this card, but that'll be coming up later this week. So be sure to check back for that video too. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a fabulous day.